I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. At Thursday's House Education Committee hearing, Congressman Glenn Grothman asked Education Secretary Miguel Cardona about an attempt to expand Pell Grants to include non-citizen dreamers. The Wisconsin Republican claimed that such a proposal is unfair to middle-class American citizens, but Cardona pushed back. He cited meeting a dreamer who was a teacher and was, quote, working twice as hard. Let's listen into the exchange. Thank you. Um, I had some questions prepared, but I'm going to ask you one a little bit that, that wasn't in the original materials. Um, the chairman started off by talking about disciplinary differences in schools, kind of implying there was a racial component. I always think that is an interesting statistic, but, you know, we're not going to change people's race. Um, but I sometimes wonder, do you collect any statistics on the family structure background of kids? you know, those subject to discipline, those that aren't. I know so many wonderful children raised in all sorts of different backgrounds, but I wonder, are you making any effort to collect that information? Um, I know that uh, the information that we collect from the Office for Civil Rights, the uh, Civil Rights Data Collection, uh, is something that we've done last year and we're doing this year to get more information on disproportionality. Uh, I couldn't tell you off uh, the top of my head now if it has background information that's required uh, of, of students to fill out on that. I, I would imagine well, that there's not. Would you, why don't you do that? Because maybe we'd learn something. Okay, why don't we request, you know, I, I, there was a famous football player who recently uh, toured a prison, obviously discipline on an entirely different level. But he talked about, you know, disproportionately, way disproportionately kids in there without a father. And uh, why don't you collect that information and maybe we'll learn something that might not be that politically correct, but maybe we can do something to kind of get America back on the straight and narrow. Um, next question, uh, and this is kind of along with my good buddy, Congressman Courtney. Uh, why with all these big spending bills, haven't we put something in there saying that you can refinance uh, government student loans? lower the interest rate that way. And there's several Democrat congressmen are out there pushing that. I push it. Is there any reason why that's not in, uh, in, in any of your big proposals? Happy to have my team uh, reach out to you and get more information on that. I think what we're trying to do, uh, Congressman, is really address some of the root causes of the issues. Uh, poor oversight or um, okay. misleading. That, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's OK. Then we'll go on to the next one. I just got out of a budget committee and we, of course, dealt with the huge inflation caused by excessive government spending. I see that your request here uh, in, the, in the, the president's budget request for 2023 is a 20.9% increase over last year. I mean, given that inflation, housing prices, gas prices, which teachers pay too, um, seems to be completely out of control. And I think there should be almost unanimous agreement that it's primarily out of control because of excessive spending. Do you feel it was responsible for the president to, in his proposal, increase um, Department of Education funding by 20.9%? Um, first of all, the supply chain issues and the Russian war uh, uh, is contributing significantly. If anything, the proposals that our president put forward helped Americans uh, uh, with relief during a very difficult time. The reason for this request, sir, is because of decades of underinvestment in education. And, and it's to me a symptom uh, that we're seeing teacher shortages and we're seeing challenges in education. So this budget aims to address the years of underinvestment, the decades of underinvestment. Uh, and I'm proud that the president is decades. an education president. Decades, you mean like the Obama and Clinton years? Decades. Well, okay. We'll give you another question. Uh, we have a problem that is becoming a budgetary problem, a problem in many other ways at our southern border. Um, your department has asked for an expansion of the Pell Grant program to include illegal immigrants. I always felt that was kind of bizarre because, of course, um, we're not including American citizens and American middle class kids uh, continue to have to go deep in debt for their college education. But it has been the policy, apparently, of the Biden administration to push for free or almost free college for people who are here illegally. Do you still stand by that proposal? Do you think it's something you might take off the table? Um, Congressman Grothman, I remember having a conversation with a teacher who was a dreamer 
who was working twice as hard so that she can help the students in her classroom. And the Biden administration has been very clear that we do support uh, ensuring dreamers um, have an opportunity uh, for federal financial aid, including the Pell Grant. Well, um, these, I, are, these are students who are making a big difference in their communities. And um, aren't, Amer aren't kids born in America making a big difference in their communities? Yes, why, do, why do you insult them by offering these programs to illegal immigrants and not giving them to uh, American citizens? Sir, we are proposing an increase in Pell Grants for all uh, students, and we hope you can support it. Okay, thank you, Mr. Thank Chairman, you. for the few extra seconds.